trying to do some crappie fishing today around these underwater trees and I'm seeing specks which I think are fish through here there's a big one that might actually not be crappie right there I'm not sure probably carp now, these are all underwater trees and I just went over this once and this is my second time over it and now I'm going in a circle but there's specks around it so I'm hoping these are crappie so I'm going to drop some minnows in the water and see what I can catch let's hope the spot lock doesn't scare them away <laughs> all right let's get a minnow on my rod I'm just going to free line this with a split shot, small hook, and my B&M crappie rod, the Bucks Graphite crappie spinning rod. Amazon only has a combo for this, so I'll put the combo in the description below. This is a really nice rod. I like it. I personally got this one at Academy Sports and paired it with my Akuma Inspiro reel. I recently upgraded my other rod and reel to a bigger one. And I got these nice sized minnows at Edgemore Outdoors. They've recently moved their location a little bit closer to the steam plant. And he actually told me that some of his customers don't realize that they've moved. They thought they shut down. And I'm just going to nose hook him. I've actually got braid on this, but I've got a really long fluorocarbon leader. Oh, my GoPro went nuts. But here is the first crappie. This is a slab crappie. Look at that. Man, I wish I would have got that on film. Let's see how big this guy is. 13 inches. One inch shy of being a trophy size crappie. Well, that is eater size right there. But I'm letting them go today. That was pretty quick. I don't know what my camera was doing when I tried to record that, but I'm gonna let him go. <laughs> Guess it's time to get the big camera out. I actually put it on this really cool mount that I got on Amazon. It's a ram mount that goes on a bar. Spin it on there. I'm gonna set up this camera and see if I can catch another one. Okay, the minnow is still alive, so I'm gonna toss them back out there. Maybe catch another one. Ah, uh, caught the tree. That's what happens when you fish around trees. Oh, I got it out. I bent the hook. Oh, that was a hit. And it took my bait. Ah, oh, I think there's a drop off right there. 100% sure they'd hang up around that drop off too. Okay, I've decided to rig up my other rod and reel, the EVX with the new 40 Inspra on it with a bobber. A long fluorocarbon leader, little split shot, same hook, hooking it in the back so it can swim around naturally. I'm just going to let this float around the back of the boat while I try to precision catch with my littler rod. I'm only doing this because I saw some in the column. Got plenty of rod holders to put this on. And there's a the bass boat. I'm going to put a new minnow on this. He's not quite that lively. I'm going to have to go with large minnows next time. These guys are kind of small. A bluegill. <laughs> I knew that was a weird feeling bite. All right, here's the prize catch of the day. A bluegill. I'm trying for crappie, but this bluegill decided he wanted a minnow today. I'll let him go. You have a weird appetite. I've actually missed a couple of hits on the bobber. It went under, I got to the rod, and there was nothing there. So it let go before I could get to it. 
I'm trying to keep big minnows on a bobber too. It's been a lot slower than I thought it would be here. Hopefully I'll catch another one. Well, I was trying to mess with my bobber and I broke it. This is actually the second bobber of this style that I've broke. I don't know why these break so easy. Yeah, junky bobber. It's been kind of a rough day. I was hoping I'd catch more crappie. Fish on. Finally, another crappie. These are some big crappie. That's a nice one. How big is this guy? 13, 13 and a half. And I need a hog trough. It's right there, it's one. Yeah, he's right at 13. Another 13 inch crappie. There we go, this is the fish I've been trying to catch. Crappie. Hold it up to the camera, make it look bigger. Got the sun right behind me. Now this is the fish that I've been trying to catch. It's only 13 inches. I need to get a 14 incher for it to be a trophy size crappie. I ain't gonna let this guy go. Hopefully I get a 14 incher. Grow up. These have been some nice sized crappie here though. Although there's just a very few of them. I'm going to keep trying for a little bit more, at least until I run out of minnows. And that crappie ate the minnow, so I'm going to have to put another one on. I've had that one hanging off the back for a while and nothing's hit it at all yet. Got one. Whoa. <laughs> and this guy was a fighter. These guys are feeding right off the bottom. He's kind of shorty. 12 and a half, 13. Lower jaws hitting 13. They're all the same size. You can see he's right on the mud bottom. Usually I only see mud on catfish, but this guy has mud on him. Another nice crappie on the boat. I've only got a few more minnows left. Maybe one of these will be 14 inches. You know, I totally think I wasn't recording on my main camera for that one. Ah, the life of a YouTuber. Forgetting to turn the camera on. I'm basically letting all my line out till it hits the bottom and then reeling up and waiting for a tap from a fish and hoping I don't get snagged. There's a lot of trees down there. Got him. <laughs> Another bluegill. Oh, he swallowed it really good, too. Well, it looks like I'm going to have to cut the line on this guy. Yeah, I'm not going to get that hook out of there. It rust out of him over time, or here spit it up. I remember Glenn Flowers showing the bottom of his bait tank a while back. Had a bunch of hooks in it, and he catches bluegill for his flathead fishing. All right there, that is excellent flathead bait. I'd almost throw him into my bucket. My toad is empty right now because I don't want the water to freeze in it. He gets to live to see another day. And my other rod is hung up. Oh boy. Okay, I'm not going to rig this one back up. Oh, I lost my entire leader. Nice. I'm just going to use my little one. Only got a couple of minnows left. The hooks I'm using are my carp hooks. These are small Chinese carp hooks. They're not the best there is. And they're kind of a little bit on the thick side, but they seem to be working. I think a crappie hook, you want something a little bit skinnier. I'm going to get this on here and try to catch a couple more fish. Of course, first thing I do is get on a snag. <clears throat> My leader keeps breaking. This is 15 pound fluorocarbon too, which is what I used on the other one, which I just lost. So I got to put leader back on here, another hook, and I've got one more minnow left and it's a big one. Save the best for last. Okay, I got the last minnow on, and it's a big one. See if I can catch something with it. It's on. Another giant bluegill. 
It ate my biggest minnow. Can you believe that? <laughs> so I've been catching crappie and giant bluegill today. Whoa. Man, I wish I had a catfishing rod with me. Put this guy back out there. And who knows what I might catch. All right, there's the last fish of the day. A nice bluegill. And this is a nice size one. I would use this for flathead bait any day. Say hello to the bluegill. Well, that was my last minnow. So I'm gonna throw this guy back and get back to the ramp. It's been a decent day. I didn't catch a hundred crappie and I didn't catch a trophy size crappie, but that's okay. And today, well, I was... <laughs> and today I was catching fish. And this bluegill actually has some nice purple on him. I don't know if the camera's picking it up. Hopefully I can get it to pop out when I'm editing. I'm gonna let this guy go. Grow up, Mr. Bluegill. Cool. Well, I call this a successful day. Caught quite a few fish. I definitely wouldn't be starving today if I needed to catch fish for food. There's other crappie spots that I know of that I'm gonna try. I just wanted to try here first because I had a feeling that this place had some nice crappie in it and it does, even though there's only a few of them. So I'm gonna get myself packed up here and I'm gonna head back to the ramp. Thank you guys for watching the video. If you like it, please give me a thumbs up and I'll see you next time.